Hi, this is Jay with wetroomswear.com, and today we'll be looking at our advertiser search feature. The first step to using What Runs Where is to locate the information you're looking for within our database. What Runs Where searches through data we have on advertisers by their landing page URLs. We can start our search by typing in the domain of an advertiser into the search box under the Buy Advertisers tab. An advertiser is anyone who is placing their advertisements on another website that link back to their domain and includes both companies and affiliates. Running a search for Ford.com, for example, will bring up all relevant data about different aspects of their online marketing campaigns. The built-in autocomplete feature can assist you in finding an advertiser's domain if you are unsure of the complete URL. For example, typing Ford into the search bar will give you a list of possible domains containing the word Ford. We're going to select Ford.com and click the search button. After a brief searching and compiling period, all pertinent data will be displayed under several specific categories. The first category provides an overview of the advertiser, placing relevant statistics and graphs to help consolidate and explain the data to you before you dig any deeper. The second category, Demographics Reports, is our integrated demographics feature. This page will display international traffic trends as well as the representation of several key demographic categories. This information can help users further identify lucrative target audiences and international traffic sources. One use for this data is it provides users with contextual market research so they can produce and refine their ads so that they are tailored to the highest represented demographics, while at the same time reducing their spending with lower demographics. For example, Ford.com would like to target men, as we can see from this graphic. The third category, traffic sources, will display a list of domains where the advertiser you have searched has placed their ads. This table is further broken down into several headings. The country category displays the country where the traffic source was visited from. The source category displays how the advertiser you have searched came about having their ad placed on that site. Either the advertiser has worked through an ad network, for example, Google AdWords, or has made a direct media buy of ad space on the listed domain, which we will display as media buy. The prevalence category is a score given to represent the number of times our crawlers have located this advertiser's ads on a specific site. And the duration category displays the number of days we've seen the ads there, from the first day we saw it to the most recent day we've seen it. The last field, labeled View, displays the exact advertisements we located on that placement pertaining to the specific advertiser. Both prevalence and duration can be sorted in an ascending or descending manner allowing you to locate the top placements for this particular advertiser. The Related Domains category will display any domains that we have found to be closely related to the advertiser you've searched. This will cover domains that the advertiser may also own. The Text and Hybrid Ads section displays all the text and hybrid ads we have found that lead to the advertiser's domain, including subdomains, for example, for.com slash Mustang. The ads can be sorted by ad network, country, how recently we've seen the ads, and by ad strength, which will order results by how well we've found the ads to be performing. If there is a large amount of results for your advertiser search, What Runs Where will display more results the further you scroll down the page. The Banner Ads section, like the Text and Hybrid Ads section, will display all ads placed by the advertiser that we've found. Unlike the previous section, you can further refine your search by selecting the dimensions of the banner ads you wish to view. The Placement Suggestions section gives you a list of domains that are similar to the websites that the advertiser has chosen to place their ads on, but may have overlooked. This is a key tool for any competitor looking to find possible lucrative locations for their next ad campaigns. The Common Phrases section lists the most used words or phrases from their text advertisements, and assigns a score relating to how often we've seen them used. This can be key to identifying top performing keywords when producing your own creatives. And finally, the landing pages section displays all the subdomains on the advertiser's website that visitors were sent to upon clicking on that advertisement. 